Hi. Some of you might be thinking, hey, we're not in Carrie's kitchen today, and we're not. It is Thursday on Facebook, and uh, we would normally be in the kitchen whipping something up, some uh, recipes that might pair with uh, a couple of the wines that I make for Cornerstone Cellars. Um, but today we're actually out in the vineyard, and I'll give you a quick little tour around. Today we're in the Farina Vineyard on Sonoma Mountain, and the Farina Vineyard uh, is primarily planted to Sauvignon Blanc. And this is where we get our Sauvignon Blanc uh, fruit from. We're in the block uh, right now, where our fruit's coming from. And you know, out here right now, I'm just checking to see how the progress is going. And at this time of year, um, things, they're growing like a weed practically. They're, you can almost feel them, hear them. Uh, you can see that they're growing rapidly uh, day by day. And we're gonna take a little look around through the vineyard and see where we are and what would be up next. Um, this is a, a really beautifully farmed vineyard. Um, the Soma Mountains that you see in the background, they're, um, we're not on the mountain. We're at about 570 feet altitude, uh, but the soils are well-drained. You can see that we've disked the cover crop under. But I'm out here today just to check on the status of the vines. So I'm gonna walk down this row and uh, we'll, we'll take a little look here. There are some flowering that's just about finished. We've got little clusters that have the little flowers on them. Let's see if I can get you some of those. We can see those. You can see the tiny little, tiny little flowers on there. And the grapevines are self-pollinating. So they prefer that it's not windy, they prefer that it's not raining, um, but they will self-pollinate and then we'll be able to take a look and see uh, what the grape crop might be like this year and if we had a good set with the crop. Um, there are, in this vineyard, there's a couple of places where I'm seeing some shorts that, shoots that are a little short. Um, and what'll happen in the next pass when we go through this vineyard, we'll be dropping off the fruit off those short shoots. We may need shoots that are all about the same size, consistency in the canopy but then we've got a few of these little short shoots, which aren't just aren't gonna be able to get the fruit ripe like we want it to. So we'll just be taking all the fruit off that. And that's all done by hand. That's done with our vineyard crew. They'll come through and look at anything that is sort of behind and lagging and make sure that the vine's not trying to ripen anything um, that it doesn't need to spend its energy on. You can also see here, there are some uh, shoots coming out that we don't need either. And on a separate pass, the crew will come through. You can see that. The crew will come through and that will come off. And so they'll, they'll come out and do suckering. So they'll take anything off, again, that the vine shouldn't spend any time at all uh, trying to get ripe. We just want it to concentrate on the clusters we're gonna keep, on the fruit we want. And I have to say that this vineyard is so meticulously farmed. Um, that they'll come out and they'll probably end up doing a couple more passes. Then the next pass after the suckering will probably be leafing. They're gonna start pulling some of the leaves, uh, leaves away back from the fruit zone. You wanna be able to expose all these clusters. You see there's an awful lot of them in there. This vine is, this vineyard is very prolific. So we'll, uh, we'll start uh, thinning the leaves so that the sunshine can actually get to these grapes and get them ripened. This is a, one of our favorite vineyards. I love the Sauvignon Blanc that's coming off of this vineyard. Um, we're getting ready to bottle the 2020 vintage, um, which is just beautiful. Um, we had a little lower yield this year. There won't be as much of the 2020, unfortunately, um, but it is, it's really incredible. Uh, we're fermenting it in a concrete egg, and, which holds about 200, 240 gallons, and then a little bit of acacia wood. And we're also using a little bit of neutral French oak so you're getting some barrel quality, but not any of the smoky, toasty vanilla you would get from a newer barrel. Um, and then a little bit of stainless steel. And I do stir the lees uh, during the course of aging, keep those lees suspended. It gives the wine a little bit of creaminess in the middle of the body. Um, it's got beautiful acidity and bright fruit and some citrus and a little bit of uh, mango, uh, pineapple, but then there's that little tiny bit of creaminess. So this Farina Sauvignon Blanc uh, from Cornerstone for me is great with food, but it just doesn't need it. Honestly, just open it up, put it in a glass, and I think you're ready to go. So the 2021 vintage looks great. Um, I'm really happy with the vineyard. Um, 
and we hope to see you again real soon. In the meantime, it's summer's, it's almost summer. It's warming up and it's time to open a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers.